in, in our system of government, or economic system, where the government and the economy are together, um, we have what's called built-in fiscal policies. Uh, these are referred to as automatic stabilizers. So that means in times of recession, there's going to be some automatic things that, that kind of kick in where government spending goes up and taxes go down okay, to create an expansionary policy all by itself. And then the same thing will occur with contractionary or during an inflation. You're going to have some things automatically happen. Okay? So let's talk about what are the automatic stabilizers. All right? So transfer payments and then our progressive tax system. Those are the automatic stabilizers. Okay? So transfer payments. This is where, uh, just as a reminder, this is when the government gives money to people. All right. So if, if somebody loses their job in a recession, what happens? They get unemployment benefits. That helps them spend money. Okay. Um, they, they could receive food stamps. Okay. That's going to help them purchase food. That's expansionary. And there's other forms of welfare. We don't need to know the specifics, but there's, there's all kinds of things the government does to help people in times of recession. Okay. And the point is that these things automatically occur. Okay. These are all automatic. There is no need for legislation. Okay, that means the Congress doesn't have to pass a bill. The president doesn't have to sign it because these things happen automatically. Okay? Then we need to kind of understand our progressive income tax. If you don't have a job, do you pay income tax? No. Okay? So that means less money will be coming out of the economy in times of a recession. On the other hand, when incomes are high, taxes are also higher. We have a progressive income tax. What that means is, is that people's taxes are, are dependent, as a percentage of their income, they're dependent upon the size of the income. So those making, uh, I believe it's 350000 a year plus, they, they're going to pay at the 39.6% income tax. People who make less than 10000 a year, they don't pay any income tax. Okay? And then most people are probably around the 15% tax bracket. Okay? So that's what we mean by a progressive income tax. When the economy is booming, taxes automatically go up because people are making more money. That has a contractionary effect, so it helps to limit in, uh, inflation. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate to you why this is the case. And in order to, to do this, we have to, we have to understand a couple of things or make some assumptions, okay? First of all, we're going to assume that we start with a balanced budget, all right? And then we're also going to make the assumption that government spending is all transfer payments, all right? All they do is they, they spend money on transfer payments, kind of like, uh, I don't know, Scandinavia, okay? So they spend money on unemployment, food stamps, and welfare. And then we're going to make this assumption, just to make it easy, we're going to assume that the tax on income is always 10%. So let's demonstrate what all of this looks like when the economy is good. Okay? So and we've got our long run aggregate spread here. Okay. Right here, we're demonstrating that the economy is good. Let's pretend the GDP is 1%. Okay? And we don't need to put price up. Okay? If GDP is 1,000, that means income is 1,000. All right? And if income is 1,000, that means taxes are 10% of 1,000, which means taxes received by the government when the economy is at full employment, full employment. So, so the full employment taxation is $100. Now, let's, let's do this. Let's go to this first assumption. We're starting with a balanced budget. And the only thing government spends money on is transfer payments. Therefore, the transfer payments are also going to be 100. Okay? So government spending and taxes are equal. Therefore, we are at a balanced budget right now. Economy moves into a recession. There's less aggregate demand out there. That means we have a new equilibrium to the left of the long-run aggregate supply curve. 
just I'm making up numbers here just to make it easy. We're going to say now GDP is 800. That means income is 800. That means income taxes are 10% of 800, which means during the recession, taxes are now $80. Note what happened, okay? In a recession, tax went from 100 to 80 bucks automatically. No new legislation, that automatically occurs, okay? Remember that. All right, now, do you think there's more or less unemployment benefits being paid when you're in a recession? That's right. The government is going to increase their spending automatically on transfer payments simply because there's more people out of work. There's more people in need. Okay? These, are, these programs are already laws that exist. Therefore, there's no, no need for new legislation. People automatically receive benefits under this situation. And so government spending automatically becomes greater than taxes, okay? That's automatically then expansionary, okay? Pretty cool. Now, what if we were dealing with inflation? Now there's too much aggregate demand, okay? So now we're in a situation where GDP is higher than it should be, be and, and the reason we, we call that a problem is because now there's inflation. So GDP is now 1,200, which means income taxes. Okay, during inflation, taxes are now 120. Okay, they automatically increase. Uh, during inflation, there's going to be fewer transfer payments being made. So I'll, I'll pick some number less than what they used to be. So we'll say it's 80, because you always have some poor people and some people unemployed. That now means that tax revenue is greater than taxes. That creates a contractionary environment as far as fiscal policy goes. And that automatically occurs. So that's what we mean by automatic stable numbers. Do you need to be able to pick them out? Yes. You need to know that transfer payments are an automatic stabilizer, and you need to know that our progressive income tax system is an automatic stabilizer. I hope that helps.